This is the 1986 Featherlight. It's a four horse head to head. The trailer is six feet wide and eight feet tall. Shows some very, very minimal damage for its age. Um, cosmetically, it's in not bad shape at all. Of course, the paint and stripes are worn. Uh, this is not a structural thing. I'm not sure what's happening there. Just a, an age thing. But there's no damage to the nose. So it's not really a, it's not a buckling issue. Really a shrinkage issue over the age of the trailer. Access door in the nose there. The jack is a little aged, so it's not as easy to crank as it could be. Uh, it's also a bit of a heavy trailer because it is solid as a rock. So I would recommend considering hydraulic jack here. It could be replaced with just one leg. It does not have to have two legs on this trailer. No real dents or dings here to speak of looking down the body of the trailer. Paint, of course, is not perfect. The white is aged, it will never shine again. And the stripe, probably used to be green, I'm not sure exactly what color I'd call it today. There's one little place on this running board where it obviously got clipped here on something, um, which caused the back of that weld to break. It's attached here with these bolts, so that's not gonna break loose. Got a side ramp on each side of the trailer. Cross members are excellent. Tires are new. The floor had some pitting and had been patched. The screws that were holding the patch down had rusted out, so we took those out, um, checked the floor. Of course, it did have some pitting. It's a 1986 model, but the patch was an excellent quality material, so we cleaned under it caulked under it, put that patch back down with proper screws that would not rust out. The solid end of the trailer, solid back end of the trailer is what's kept it so solid all these years. Um, not having a rear ramp and door has made that really very, very sturdy. You're okay. Again, new tires on the trailer. We're just replacing the tie back that holds that top door over the ramp over. So drilling out those rivets, gotta put a new tie back there. So we don't have to use that half bunch, of course. Again, no real dents or dings to speak of. Running boards are in pretty good shape. Paint's still dead. No reviving that. It has an awning. We have not taken the awning down. If it doesn't go back up, the owners are not going to replace it. We don't want to take it off in case somebody wants to replace that fabric. So we do not guarantee the condition of the awning fabric. I believe that the awning components are in good shape. The fabric may be a bit dry rotted. I cannot say for sure. We did reseal the roof of this trailer. It also had some pretty fancy shag carpet when we got it. We took that out and we just lined it with rubber mats here. We have a piece of poly board to stick here over this metal. We were thinking if somebody wanted to do a jack, a hydraulic jack, we purchased it. We would just wait and put that on afterwards. The fans in this dressing room are not guaranteed to work. I believe there's fans in the horse area. We also don't guarantee those. But we have sealed the roof. It's got a new camper vent. Saddle racks, link up bar, and bridle hooks. We've got airflow here at the top of this wall that goes into the horse area. So if you open up these sliding windows, camper vent, dressing room window, you can pull air all the way through this trailer. Rubber mat on the dressing room floor. Those are some extra parts. Two brush boxes. Again, it's got a ramp on both sides, no rear ramp, which is what's kept the trailer so stable all these years. Four horse head to head, eight foot tall inside, super, super tall. Six foot wide, which really 
is more than adequate when you consider that in eight foot wide trailers you put three across. The trailers lined, I would tell you it's probably insulated. Didn't take any part of that roof down to guarantee that for sure. So that's not a guarantee, but it's definitely lined. Walls are at a minimum lined. Side ramp on both sides, no rear ramp. Got four pop-up roof vents here and a camper vent. So the trailer really does have good airflow. It's a very solid trailer. Very solid. Do not let the age of this trailer fool you. 1986, but solid as a rock. The trailer's located at Trailer Country LLC in Carrollton, Virginia. These are non-functioning fans, non-functioning. Some of these interior lights work, some do not. It's a 1986. Current price of the trailer is $16,500. If you are interested and it works for you, we are happy to make an offer to the owner.